What is going on today, YouTube family? It's Ali, and today, today we have a very special video planned out for all of you. In this video, we are going to be finding out what is in this box. Now, I got this box last Thursday, and I haven't really opened it. I'm going to be opening it for this video, and I bet you guys are probably wondering what's in this box. Actually, I can't tell you. You know what? I might as well tell you. It's there are sneakers in this box. In this video, we are going to do a sneaker unboxing. And again, I never thought I would ever make a video like this, but here I am. Now, I don't want to waste any more of your guys' time since I know some of you are coming from my Instagram story and are probably wondering what's in this box. So let's get into it. This shipment came last Thursday and I didn't want to open it until I recorded a video of me actually opening it for the first time. So that's exactly what I did. And before I move forward, <clears throat> I just wanted to point out that the fact that this these shoes came with bubble wrap in it. Now, this may seem really insignificant, and it honestly might be, but what the bubble wrap shows me is just how much the company where I got the shoes from actually care about making sure that their products are delivered in top-notch quality. And all of this points to the fact that these shoes are probably authentic because I feel like if these shoes were fake or illegitimate, the seller wouldn't spend as much time and effort making sure that the product was delivered in top quality. You get me? Okay, so moving along, there's a receipt. It came from StockX, and no, I am not showing you the price on it, but if you guys wanna guess down below what you think the price is, be sure to do that. On the side of the box, you'll find the Nike trademark logo in English, French, and Spanish. Now again, this all may seem insignificant, but the fact that the sneakers are trademarked really is a strong pointing factor to the fact that these shoes are authentic. Now, let's talk about the box because the box in itself is so nice. It has the classic Nike logo, which I think we're all familiar with, but what really catches my eye is the color. The color of yellow, green, blue, and red. And let me tell you, out of all the shoe boxes I've ever gotten, none have ever struck my eye as this box. So let's get to actually opening this box. When I first opened this box, there was a note that came with it. And when I read it, it was really just a thank you note from the CEO of StockX for thanking me for buying from StockX and verifying that all the things that they sell, all the products that they sell are 100% authentic and verified by individual people. Now, I was a bit skeptical of this because I mean, how can they verify? all their products with like just a bunch of people but I looked it up and it turns out they do have a dedicated team committed to verifying all the products that come to StockX which I think is pretty amazing and I think back to what I was saying I all of this points to the fact that these shoes are authentic and not fake so let's get back to this b-roll before I actually show these sneakers I wanted to point out the paper wrapping that these shoes came in. Man, just look at that design. I can't really put into words how I would describe it, but I was showing this to my cousin the other day, and he said that the pattern resembles the bark of a tree, which I thought was really spot on. But now, let's give a drum roll and actually show these sneakers. I know this is the moment you all have been waiting for. So yep, here they are, the Nike Dunk Low Quarter Snacks in a Zebra pattern. This is a skate shoe, but that doesn't really matter to me since I don't really skate. Apparently this shoe is a collaboration between Nike SB and New York Magazine. And another fun fact is that the design of the shoe are inspired from those little Debbie Zebra cakes. No joke, by the way. Why did I buy this shoe? Honestly, I bought the shoes because I saw a post on it on Instagram and I was like, wow, these shoes are really nice. And the second that I saw it is the second that I knew that I wanted to buy it. I have such a consumerist mindset, but I think it was totally worth it. Going back to the shoe, you can see there's a lot of detail in the shoes. You can just see how much detail there is and you can see that in its design in itself, there's a lot. And I will do my best to cover all of that. Another thing that I wanna point out is that these shoes are actually made from real and high quality leather. And if you're a vegan, then sorry, but here's another trick for you guys. If you guys wanna know if the leather that you brought is real and authentic, look at the stitching of whatever you bought. If there's like intricate, well-detailed stitching, you can sure as well bet that the leather that you got is real. The fact that you use real leather in these sneakers really shows how high quality they are. Upon 
taking the sneakers out of the box. I did notice that it had a tag on one of them. Apparently that's a thing that they do at StockX for all their orders. They'll place a verified authentic tag on it to verify the authenticity of it. Let's move on to some of the finer details of the shoe. One thing that I should give more attention to is the pattern of the sneakers. The receipt did say that the shoe is a sort of zebra pattern, which definitely makes sense. But the fact that this pattern is really wavy and all the black lines over the white of the shoe aren't the same size and shape I think is really meant to emphasize the zebra pattern of it. Another thing to notice for these sneakers is the numbers that are written on the back left side of both sneakers. Now the number comes out to 0525 and I'm not sure if that's entirely right because again you can see this there's a Nike logo over the last three numbers so I can't really tell if that's actually like those are the actual numbers of it or it's something else um if you guys know what those numbers are or if the numbers that i guessed are right please let me know down in the comments because i am very interested into finding out what they are now just imagine that i recorded this entire video and didn't show you a single clip of me wearing these shoes just imagine that i did that fortunately for me and for all of you i did not do that i actually wore these shoes this past Tuesday. I bought them on the 18th, that's the day they came out. I got them on the 24th and I wore them on the 28th. So I waited a full four days before trying them on. Anyways, that is about it for this video. This is the first time that I ever did a sneaker unboxing and it is certainly not going to be my last. I had a lot of fun recording this video and I hope you guys liked it. If you guys liked it, consider dropping a like button. And if you guys are new here and you like my content, be sure to hit that subscribe button in this channel i talk a lot about fashion self-improvement self-wellness emotional wellness if you guys like the sound of that be sure to hit that subscribe button it would mean a lot to me and i would love to have you guys as a part of my youtube family anyways this is me signing off for this one have a good one peace